Hi everyone, today I'm very happy because I received on the mail the uh, print proof of my new book, the CTO uh, Toolbox. Uh, this is the proof, but I wanted to take some time to show it to you. It will be available on Amazon, on paperback, on hardcover and Kindle very, very soon in April. So I just wanted to take some time and, and go over the book with you on why I, I wrote it. At the end of the day, this is more than two decades of experience as CTO in, in, in technical leadership roles. And I wanted to put together all the tools, frameworks and ideas that I have been putting together in my years of experience in different types of companies. And I have also got help from some friends, other CTOs in my, in my network that are much better than me in some of the topics they, they talk about. So I'm gonna spend some time going over the book and showing you basically what it is about and what you can expect to get in this uh, almost 350 pages long a collection of, of tools. So the first part is tools for technology. Here is what you can expect from the most usual chief technology officer role. Uh, specific chapters on the things that are directly related to us, like how to implement DevOps and some bibliography, uh, how to do blameless postmortems and so on, how to do uh, test-driven development, uh, different frameworks for uh, quality assurance and things like that, and so on. So these are as elements that are specifically technological, technical depth, what it is and who should take care of the technical depth, uh, how to measure it, what are the different types of technical depth, frameworks for evaluating priorities and so on. Now, all these tools are my tools. I don't necessarily apply them in every single company, in every single place. And the idea is to have all these tools in your tool belt and then you can apply them or dig deeper into them on how to apply them or how to learn more. Because there are many, many books available for each of the chapters and blog posts and tutorials and frameworks and, and ideas. Uh, the next element is tools for product management. Product and technology always go together. And here we discuss whether you should be a CTPO, a technical and product officer, or product reporting to technology, or rep uh, technology reporting to product and the different elements. We talked about Agile and how to implement it, the sort of real original Agile and the Agile Manifesto. Uh, priority buckets is one of the frameworks to evaluate priorities. Uh, how to manage silos of knowledge and, and technology and so on, cross-functional teams and the, the known uh, Spotify model and other tools like what are the responsibilities of, of a product owner. And the next part is um, tools for team leadership. And at the end of the day, uh, technology and coding ends up being a very small part of the CTO job, but leadership and managing your team is the most important part. Uh, so what are your first responsibilities as a CTO, how to manage OKRs if you want to play with them, and how to use lean OKRs, how to build a career ladder and performance reviews for your teams, and so on. Uh, I even put here for you a specific framework for a career path that you can use as a base uh, for you to adapt on it, that I have been using in many companies successfully, uh, and how to give it to your teams. Um, what do you do weekly catch-ups or how do you manage a technical leadership team and so on. So here you will have a lot of chapters talking about that. And then the, the next point is something that in some cases, as you grow as a CTO, you will have to deal with. Maybe you're selling your company, maybe you're buying another company, maybe you're raising capital. So these are tools for corporate and merchant acquisitions. And here I have things like um, how do you deal with large cloud partnerships? How do you deal with with the sale and, and, and partner with, with other companies? How do you do technical due diligence and deal with the other members of your executive committee or your board if you happen to go to the board? How to prepare for a due diligence, right? That's something that is not obvious and no one teaches us how to do that. So we have to either read books like this or read tutorials or speak with friends what happens after you sell your company? If you're lucky to, to do that step and maybe you got some money for it, uh, how are you going to adapt to the, to the new situation? By the way, um, all the pictures have been generated by AI, but rest assured it's the only part that has been done with AI. And the last chapter is tools for taking care of yourself. The CTO job 
is a lonely one and sometimes it can be frustrating or even sad so i want to put some elements or some elements of support that have helped me and my friends along the way like a supporting group um yeah, how to disconnect completely very very difficult uh, at least for me um, how to keep learning really really important to keep a finger two or five in technology and so on so this is basically the book uh, but I want to finish with one very important point this book does good so uh, with every single cent that you spend on this book a hundred percent of the proceeds are going to two NGOs that I really really love so uh, Part of it is going to Teeming, is, is an NGO from Barcelona, a foundation in Barcelona, that's basically a sort of marketplace of other NGOs where you can donate one euro per month. It's almost like a subscription to help, and I love their concept. So please go to teeming.net and take a look at that. Uh, besides buying the book, uh, also you can become a member and help the community. And also Migra Code Barcelona, that does an amazing job by uh, uh, teaching and doing boot camps for those people that need it the most and then can get a job in technology. So all in all, this is the CTO toolbox. Uh, this is the book I've written and please go ahead, take a look, buy the book, help people along with it and then put a nice review if you like it. Thank you very much.